Anna with Anna D. Scratch and Crafts. I finished up another resin product, hat or project, <laughs> had some resin left over, so I put the gems in it and I filled up one of my little animal molds or partially filled. So I figured as long as I have to finish filling this, I'll show you what I did and have enough resin to do more than the one mold. So basically, I made up another batch of resin. And you know how that's done. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Let it stir. Now it's set. And most of the bubbles are gone. So basically, I think I showed you once. I just took a lot of my excess gems. And there always is excess gems when you do diamond art. Mix them all together to make kind of a pretty colored mix. And now I'm just going to pour them in. I'll start with that many first. And then just sort of slowly mix it down and in. And I've got enough room to put more gems in. Be tightly packed, which is kind of the way I want it. So basically what I'm doing here, it's not so much that I'm filling the molds up with resin, I'm filling them up with gems. But I'm putting just enough resin in there to hold everything together. So if we look at the bottom here, everything's down and mixed. And if we kind of stop for a minute, you can see there's still resin up on top. So that means I don't have too much resin or too many gems in the resin because it they're all there. So basically let's take the mold I hadn't finished on yet. And it's more like pouring in cake batter than resin at this point. I'll stop it there. Since resin flows a little bit easier than this does, I am going to make sure that it gets into all the little crevices. Which isn't too hard on this one because we are near the top and there's not that many crevices left at the top. Just a little bit more. You do want to drip all over me. And again, this table does have that covering on it. If you didn't see in one of the other videos, I put down press and seal paper. Could you have used clean wrap? So once I'm done, all I have to do is pull it up. That one's finished. Now I'll go ahead, since I've got lots of left and I got two more molds over here, I wanted to do my bunny rabbit. But if you see on the mold, the bunny rabbit's got these ears here. So that's when I talked when I have to kind of work it into the crevices. So I'm only going to pour in a little. Let's get this up there. Back to this one. See, nothing's gone into the ears. So I basically have to force this down in there because it's not going to flow like it normally would. And over on the other side, push it in. You can see it filling. And then let's give them kind of a squeeze. Get some of those air bubbles out. Let's 
Push more in. Back it down in there. One more squeezing. I'm feeling it better. This one I know still needs more. Let's get in there. Let's squeeze. Squeeze out those air bubbles. And let's get some more gems in there. All right. And kind of up and down, get it settled. See if I can work out any of those air bubbles I may have caught. If you've ever been on a beach and played with the sand as the with the water in it, it's basically what this kind of feels like and is acting like. So by doing this shaking, I'm kind of settling everything down. Okay, and if I check it around, I've got the ears. Got the nose under the chin. I'll have to play with the tail when we get up here, but in, for now, let's go ahead and fill some more back up. And you can see here again, if you can see a little air bubble. Now I've got to kind of work that air bubble out. I squeeze the air out. As I push the resin in, the air bubble's gone. Again, let's get it to settle a bit. And I can pour just a teeny bit more in, just a little bit. And that one's filled. Still have some left. I don't know if it's enough to finish this one, but if it's not, I'll let it sit around until I have extra resin later. Even without gems, when you go to pour resin in, you're going to get those spots like that. It doesn't want to flow into the ears or whatever. Use the same method. Use a stirring stick, squeeze the bubbles out. Oh, I'm going to have more than enough. Okay, we'll hold that just for a sec. Make sure we feel the tail, feeling the feet. Not quite finished yet. So I got the molds filled. I'm gonna mess out of my counter, but don't waste it. You know I hate to hate hate <laughs> word tongue. I don't like wasting resin. So I don't have enough to do another mold, but I should have enough. To make some scratchers out of this. It looks like I may have overfilled a couple. So let's move this. And a little too much in that one. I don't want them over the edge. So 
I lay this flat and it doesn't move them, then we're good. And what tiny, tiny bits in here, I'll go ahead and let go. But I got six more scratchers out of what was basically left over. And I've got three, and I do have one other mold that I did fill up when I only got halfway through my second animal mold. So I'll have four animals, the bear, the elephant, the bunny rabbit, and the unicorn. So we'll see how they come out. Give me 24 to 36 hours, all in mold, and show you how they finish. Now for the finished products. Here's my diamond gem dragon inside its little egg. At first I thought I had a whole lot of bubbles at the bottom half, but a lot of that is, remember I put that little pink glitter in? So a lot of this that looks like bubbles is actually that pink glitter color on the little baby dragon. So I put that one to the side. Now the ones that I had filled up the first time through had my little unicorn. And by pushing, I got it into the horn and the little tails and the ears. The one you saw that was half filled was the elephant. And if you notice, there's a great deal of clear here. Basically, the gems float. And this was a little, had a little bit more resin in it than gems. So the gems floated up and the resin stayed down. So that's why this one's a little more clear up at the top portions. But these are the two then that I did. Like I told you, here's the little bunny rabbit. And you can see the ears did get all the way back. The nose, chin, no bubbles. Tail even has the little tip on it, no bubbles. And the bear. Just like that, yep. Gems up in the ear. He is so cute. And then, of course, these are the scratchers from the leftovers. So a quick little project, kind of started out with like that, scraps. I had leftover diamond gems, and when I did this one and half of that one, I just had leftover resin, threw the diamond gems in, and made new artwork. Now, yes, on these I did add new because I wanted to finish this one and figured I wanted to do the other two, and then the leftovers on that did the scratchers. Don't waste. Come up with beautiful art when you use what you've got, scrap it out, do something with it. So wherever you're at, have a good day, good night. If you enjoy this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of it, subscribe. Both of those help my channel and doesn't cost you a thing. So until next time, bye. And if you enjoyed my video, please press the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and the notification bell so you know when my next video is out. Thank you.